Hello, so um, I installed another operating system and this is going to be called Slataz. Um, it's been around for a while. It's um, It has very low RAM um, and it, it, the image file is only like 50 megabytes or something. So I I used this way back in 2008. I had a e Asus EEPC 700, and it only had about uh, I think it was 512 MB of RAM or maybe a gigabyte, and it only had like four gigabytes of, of storage. So um, I remember using Slataz and it, it had Wi-Fi support out of the box. Um, of course I have to choose the language but that's not a the keyboard and the language but um, that's not a problem. So it loads really really fast. So actually this has some advantages to uh, Puppy Linux because it is um, using LXDE as the window manager, which I like a lot more. It's kind of a creepy theme and all, you know, spiders and slithery, slitas, whatever. But um, if you kind of navigate around, it, it's got a lot of really cool stuff out of the box. It's got a lot of games and stuff. Um, eraser. Oh well, never, never really played this. But I remember how good it ran on uh, my EEPC, which was actually a slower Atom processor. It was an Atom N250 or N435. I think it was like an Atom. It was the first Atom processor out there. Um, so this actually has two threads, and the other one I think only had one. But it ran a lot better, and that was actually like my preferred way of using it. Um, so you don't really have to get rid of a, an old computer if you know what operating system to, to run. And I think this is probably the best one. One thing I noticed is that they included Gemini, which is a different type of um, internet protocol. I think it's really great that they included it on here. I had been reading about it about a year ago. Then it does have Midori, but it, it actually runs a lot better on this compared to... Well, I'm going to try getting this to run on the Raspberry Pi. So I know there is a port for it, I just haven't really tested it yet. So I'll try it on the Raspberry Pi 3 and then I'll try it on the Raspberry Pi 0 if I can get it to work. But, um, uh, you know, some things don't work right out of the box, but, you know, you can check news. Of course, Google News doesn't load super fast, but I had to take my caps lock on off actually. So um yeah, it runs pretty quickly. One thing you do have to do is click on this thing. You can't just drag it, but I I think that's not specific to this operating system. I noticed it on um on the puppy Linux too. It's just kind of a habit where you could kind of just if you drag it, you can kind of resize it, but you just do that and then you can resize it. For a small screen you still can get a lot more space on here. Um, so yeah, not a whole lot of great news in the in the news, but the news itself does does load pretty well. And we'll try YouTube here. But yeah, I had, I had forgotten about the Taz, and uh, I think it's, I spelled that wrong here. So browser isn't supported, not a problem. Yeah, this, is, um, this isn't uh, a modern browser. Uh, I could go ahead and just install it. They, they should have a package manager here. Uh, package manager. Yeah, I don't know that. Root, root. Uh, let's try that. 
Okay, they gave me a hint. And, yeah, one thing you could do is just install the packages. Not really sure I want to do that right now, but um, I think this operating system is a whole lot better than uh, Puppy Linux for this operating system. So now I'm really interested in seeing how well it would run because I didn't really like how slow it was running on the Raspberry Pi. That said, of course, you do sometimes get more features, but um, this is still pretty capable out of the box. And uh, I remember it, it had out of the box Wi Fi support for the EEPC, so um, that's one thing I really always remembered about this. And you got web radio, so you could you could use other services rather than having to go through the browser, and I think that's probably a good. Um, this is a French distribution or French operating, so I don't think I have my. Oh, there we go. Not bad at all. So yeah, something really pared down pretty pretty good. Um, Space Invaders, probably pretty more graphical. Just to kind of benchmark it, space bar. Yeah, not bad at all. Wow. And I remember, you know, this was capable of running it at the time with the, with Windows and all the, the supported codecs. But to have it run on a, a Linux that's released today and it still supports it, it, it's still pretty amazing. So there's my video. Um, I will definitely try to get this on the Raspberry Pi and um, look out for that new video whenever I get it working. Thanks for watching. And game over. <laughs>